This is Elric Ferris, and you're watching Motherboards.org. And today, I'm bringing the hammer down, literally. And I'm still having those damn Hornet problems. That said, today we take a look at something from Hornet Tech. This is the Enterprise 4X. What is the Enterprise 4X? Is it something from outer space? Does it have Captain Kirk? Does it even have a Picard? I mean, damn, there's a lot of captains out there for the Enterprise. No, it doesn't have any of those, but what it does have is four bays. A good price, really cool design, and features USB 3.0 connectivity. So let's jump right in, because today we're just doing the unboxing of this said product. Check it out. All right, anyway, just kidding. This is the Enterprise 4X by Hornet Tech. USB 3.0, eSATA, four bay mobile rack enclosure. Some other languages there too. Basically here's some of the features right here. It says Windows 7 compatible, USB 3.0, eSATA, we went over that. Super speed, USB 3.0, eSATA has a five gigabit per second maximum transfer speed. That has green energy support, says 25% less power or 25% power savings. Also features 12 terabytes of storage. Each bay can support a three terabyte drive. Um, it's all JBOD, you guys know what that is. It has a smart air circulation design from the round design you guys will see with an 80 millimeter cooling fan. It has an easy installation with security lock, and then it has auto power saving. It says auto sleeps and wakes with the drives with the PC. So I guess it means your PC shuts down, it shuts down as well. I'm gonna show you guys the side of the box. This one's made for the USA and Canada. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys the back of the box so you guys get all the angles. I know you overboxing crazy people are. And then last but not least, I'll show you the last side. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and begin the unboxing. We'll pop the back off here. Everything's packaged well. Instruction guide right here on top. I'm probably move this up. Enterprise 4X. Let's see if there's anything else. There's some screws right here. These are obviously going to be probably for the bays if you want to screw them in. I don't know if that's for sure yet, but probably. Here's the power cable. Takes a regular power computer cable. Nothing special about that. I'll get that out of the way. If you guys really want to see the unit, that's the, really the heart of the matter. Sorry to get you guys out of camera range. I'm just trying to get everything out of there. And there's some more stuff in there. So I'll drag it all out here, one piece at a time for you. And so I can get it all back into camera range. Here are the cables that come with it. See, it's got a USB 3.0. Then here's also another piece of the power cable. I'm gonna just put all this stuff back out here anyway, so you guys can all see it. And we'll jag it on there. I'm trying to figure out how to do this one. And then here's actually the unit itself. Like I said before, the really cool thing about this is it's really shaped like a big circular fan. Any of you guys have seen like fans and like giant greenhouses and such, they have giant big round fans up in the corners to keep the right place running cool. And this has the same design and wow, amazingly just out of the box, I know, I know you guys think I'm bullshitting, but this thing's actually really pretty damn cold. I'm kind of amazed. All right, so we'll flip it around here. Basically, I guess this, this is where it tells you everything, your power, which drives are in here. It shows you all that information right here. But the drive's actually gonna install on the back side. Whoops. That's right here. And all the connectors are back here as well, as well as an on and off switch for the power, as well as all your connections. So all you gotta really do to remove the bays is you push in these little things right here. And when you push these in, the drive bays become installable. You just put them in here. Deep inside of here, I'll go ahead and pull another one out. Maybe the camera can get a shot inside of there if the lighting's gonna be well enough. But inside of there, you can see where all your connectors for your SATA right in there, your power, everything else. So this has been the unboxing of the Enterprise 4 from the people over at Hornet Tech. It retails for $150, but I'm sure you can find it online somewhere on sale for about $89 to $100 if you look around. All in all, it's a good little unit if you're looking for just something to put your drives in outside of your system to keep them nice and safe. That said, see you guys back here on motherboards.org and we'll do the full review a bit later for you guys.